and in terms of a bit of a veteran, 33 years of age. Shots of the coin, his first duty have a game. as have a umpire. Game. Yeah, have a good game. Yeah, we certainly hope so too. It's so interesting that Sung Ji Hyung has chosen to start this near side of the court as we look down. So the 33-year-old Tina Bao from Denmark, from Horsong. Three and two, her win-loss record for the year so far. Of course, her world ranking at the moment seven, but she has been as high as number one. And of course, as I was saying, twice champion here at the All England Championships. A quarter-final in Malaysia, the first uh, ordinary Super Series event of the year. In the previous week in Korea, at the first of the premiers, she had reached the second round. But here, in her first semi final, qualifier from France in the first round, and Lee of China in the second. 16 19 down in that second game before coming back to win it 22 20. And yesterday in the quarter final against Linda Wenny Fenotri from Indonesia. Two straight games. She really has been in tremendous form. Her opponent, the 21-year-old Sung Ji Hyung from Seoul in South Korea. Eighth week at number five in the world ranking. Quarter finalist last year in these all England championships and have a very, very good win loss record for the year. Won, of course, the first of the Premier Super Series events, the Korean Open. Won that as an unseeded player in the semi final finalist last week at the German Grand Prix. Well, all of her matches so far in two straight games, including. That quarter-final yesterday against the beaten finalist from two years ago, Iriko Hiroshi of Japan. So she has been in good form, no doubt about that. Oh, what an occasion for Tina Bao from Denmark, her last ever tournament. She's in the semi-final once again of the All England, and an interesting statistic. Every time she's reached the semi-final, she's gone on to contest the final of this particular tournament, and that's a very healthy win-loss record between the two of them. So this is the seventh meeting, with Tina Bowne having won five of the previous six, including the last, but that was in 2011 at the Super Series finals. Tina! Oh, to so we've got an insider here sitting along the side because Kenneth Jonathan, former world number two men's singles player, and of course former European champion, is sitting along the side now, and of course he will be able to give me the inside scoop with Tina Bowne. Nervous Ladies moments and gentlemen, the match gets on the way. On my right, Tina Baum, Denmark. <laughs> and on my left, Sun Ji Yun, Korea. <laughs> Tina Baum to serve. Mabo, play. So the former champion, the 33-year-old Dane, current European champion, getting this semi-final underway now. Can it? Of course, you, at the moment, it's head coach of the single squad here in England. But I know you know Tina extremely well. Obviously, she's going to see this as a huge opportunity in her final tournament. But do you think the full emotion of that is perhaps going to affect her today? Love. Um, well, I had the pleasure of uh, being a coach for Tina for around 18 months, uh, from 2009 to uh, July 2010. And uh, I, I don't think she'll get that emotional. 
until the very end Great if it's not going her way. Then I think the, the thought will start, and uh, and I do believe she needs a really good start today. Yeah. Uh, I, I know this, the matches previous to this has gone in uh, Tina's favour, but I, I do see Song as a, as a slight favourite today. But if we get the same play from Tina as we did yesterday, uh, anything is possible. Yeah, I have to say in her quarter final yesterday against the Lindbergh and Fana Tree, the way she played that opening game, which she won at 21 7, she was aggressive, she was positive, commanded the rallies, but the difference was she started this near side of the court yesterday. And I wonder if that's going to have an influence, certainly given her first point on the board, that will help calm the nerves. I totally, I totally agree. Uh, I would say that Sutton is also a different opponent. Uh, you know, she puts a lot more pressure on. And, uh, but the way Tina played yesterday, I've probably not seen her move that fast for for at least 18 months. So, uh, so I'm expecting great things from Tina today. Uh, looked a little rooted to the spot there, though, and that's a definite sign of nerves. shot to make tactically Five, what do you think two. she would have gone into this match thinking and and what sort of tactical plan would Tina have had whenever Tina plays she needs to be dictating uh, she needs to be aggressive which also is borderline that you might hit a few outs and uh, but she needs to be controlling some uh, because otherwise she should be too strong and she's developed quite a lot from over the last two years she's now able to create her own points which again Tina needs to be dictating she needs to hit her winners and that leaves a very small margin for errors and, uh, and she hasn't started it in the best way and yes yeah, she's hit a few out you can see also Song is very much aware she wants to control Tina seven two yes. and of course the 21 year old from Seoul has a very good pedigree because her mother Kim Young Yak was the last player to win both the singles and doubles at the Seoul England Championships won the singles back in 1986, beating Tiang Ping, China in the final, and of course won the doubles in 88, playing with Jung So Young. Yeah, she really does. I have to say, I wonder how much that win Eight, for Sung Jae Hyun at the Korean Open, the first Super Series of the year. It was her first Super Series title. She came from nowhere as an unseeded player. And to me, she's grown in confidence and stature ever since. Yeah, that's correct. Previously to that, she's uh, she's had wins in tournament, but never had really tournament win, so she didn't have her uh, high players. And you can see she's boosting with confidence. And I think she feels she has the, the kind of edge over Two. Tina, definitely from this side, and she's just totally in control and you can see Tina's getting frustrated because she I think Tina knows she needs to win in two unless one of the set goes easy oh, that's a great net shot just picking up on the front there Pellets. and you say that because perhaps Tina hasn't got the stamina anymore at the age of 33 um, I, I think overall uh, Tina's batteries are a little uh, less charged than they used to be. Oh, you're such a gentleman, you're so tired. Oh, yeah. you must take that. Oh, that was absolutely superb. But I mean, really, that's, that's the Tina that... That's the way she needs to play. She needs to be on the border of, yeah, making a few mistakes but putting a lot of pressure on on, on some. For me, when it's that foul, that maybe shows she's a little bit tense, but also it could be that some is getting more back than she she really likes Tina. Yes, I concur with that. I feel that Tina Bound. She's got so many wonderful winning shots, but if opponents do get them back. She tends to get a little frustrated and then yeah, go closer and closer to the arms as she did on that one. And that's when you start to make errors. Yeah, 
that, that's a classical mistake. A little bit of frustration at the same time. You know, she, she has to go for them, but she cannot afford to make these many mistakes because it also gives a lot of momentum and confidence for some. And and Pierre Henrik has a, a, a tough job to get her back on track now. So around the head can you get a little smaller hoida, near near the drift, and look at the arbal of this. Lis so snart har jeg her nede, så må jeg trække til nettet. Det er ikke så styre. Ja, lige præcis. Så må jeg få en gap, så må jeg komme og spille en lille høj overspil i serien op around the head. Ja, så får arbal det frem og tilbage, det er det som vi snakker om for kampen. Ja, kort 1, 20 seconds. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Okay, can it? What was said there? <laughs> They're talking about the conditions. They're talking about uh, dealing with the drift. Uh, they they want to control that rear court, uh, and they they're a little bit worried right now that they, 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 they are able to control. So they probably will do a little bit more uh, front court from from Tina's own rear court, and then maybe use the lift where she has a little bit more time. But you can already see that she, she wants to keep that net for a little while. And good advice from the coach. I suspect you played against, and he was a very new world player. Now, yeah, back with the coaches. Yeah, it's happened. We still uh, actually, uh, once in a while at tournament, find a practice court and, and go one on one. A oh, little bit of luck for Sung Jae Hyung. Seven seven. Uh, luck of the net Twelve, court. Five. gives you the option to play tight net or lift it out to the corners and put pressure on your opponent. But oh, that's an easy mistake that what Tina needs. She needs a few easy mistakes. I, you know, I know that Sun has, has won the Korean Open, but the only one is very different. Yeah. Now the Danish fans in fine voice. Oh, that's that's simply just one of those you need to avoid a two point back after an easy point. That's, that's not the way forward. That's nice to that. Yeah. Did you see that? You see the open cut from the front court. She's controlling the rear court. Fine. But it's when she's under pressure from down in the deep corners and from way low below tape, then she has a, a bit of an issue. Yeah. I saw that uh, come back in the last match, the men's doubles. Oh, we're about to witness some weather. and especially the full diagonal, the longest distance to run. The plays around the head and then brings her into the forehand net. Uh, she's using it to great advantage there. Uh, that uh, slice 
or a smash. It's a great weapon. Yes, Anthony and I were talking yesterday about her exaggerated shoulder turn. And that in itself not only creates more power, but also creates the deception. You cannot tell which way she's going to hit it. That's correct. Tina is very deceptive. Uh, she turns to the very end, but it looks like a big swing, but actually the finish is very swift. And that makes it, that's the difficult part. And yes, the pressure's coming. Yeah. Close the gap to just two points. Having been seven points adrift at one stage. So shot and Tina Vaughan, as you can see, absolutely livid with herself. That's the only shot you can't do. It's open and the court is open, but it's the one shot that every player will cover is the cross from the net flat. And uh, unless you can actually hit it downwards, you just can't do that shot. And that's why Tina gets so frustrated. She knows, she's experienced enough to know that that was the wrong choice. as she was at the end of that rally, you know, when she's disgusted with herself, as you did in the previous rally. You can empathise with her. You can relate to her. You live and breathe the match with her. Well, that's true. She, she, she keeps the emotion right out, so it's easy to see. And, uh, you know, she uses that in a perfect way. Uh, of course, she has days where she gets too upset and she's yeah. unable to control it, but overall, when she's playing her best back time, when she's full of joy, she is just amazing. Yeah. One point in it. Yes. Oh, oh, my oh, what a shot from Sanjay Young. Oh, she got that one back. This one. It had hit the top of the tape and been deflected 16, from Tina Bow. And yet she managed to play the perfect net shot. Which Tina Bow then couldn't kill. Difficult playing song, but she's really good in that counter attack, so she doesn't doesn't really allow you to control too long and then she turns it on you and then suddenly you are out in a long rally where you have to control well here the drift. Thank you. Being mocked of the perspiration gives the opportunity for both players just to recompose the thoughts, calm themselves down. Good judgment, Brave. 
decision from Tina Bounds. Service over. 15 17. Yeah, she was in a position she could have played it. A great judgment it was just wide of the mark. Great lift. Opportunity. Seemed to be 18, in control. 15. Yeah, she, she, she's trying to force it a little bit. She's clearly there. She just mistimed that one, but it was the right choice. Uh, and I, li I like the fact that when Tina is, is, is in these rallies, she's using the rear court because otherwise it'll be a little bit too simple. She might win a few at the front, but she needs to continuously use that rear court to open up. And then, yeah, she will win the final point. In the front court, but she needs to keep using that rear court. Oh, that's an amazing shot from Sam Chi It's a, it's the great lift that you can see. It, it goes over Tina, so she's just hanging a little bit too back, and that is a great slice. Size puts her to within two points of this open game. Now, just one twenty five and point number five seed from Korea. Seven, 16, Again, 20. She needs to play like that. Uh, she's so creative and, yeah, it's just a great shot, really. So, two is that. Seven, two. Okay, so you a Down the line. Sam Ji Hyun doesn't agree. Two game points saved. Play, please. Skills and touch to do that kind of shot. Nine out of ten players would have blasted a uh, big smash. Mm. Courage, a big part of it, too. Very good judgment to leave that. Oh, how did she get that back? Unbelievable. Short. Again, her attacking power is just quite, quite unique. 20 more extra points required in terms of clear two-point winning margin.
Great rally. She she keeps her well normally when you come back after being four four points down you lose the first one and then here she's in control she's uh, she's playing with great variation she actually managed to get it over to the first one for the first time hit the hit the rear court great shot. Eight points. Tina Bell. I thought the lift was so short, I thought she was surely going to put the smash on the ground. But all credit to Sanju Hyung. Well, it's all happening here. That was a tennis smash and a tennis attempt to kill it. for the European champion. Oh, my goodness me. What a rally. And what a smash from Sanju. Well, both players bringing out the best of their game right now. You know, this is actually the first time in the Coral Rally so where Sun really had a chance to attack. 22. And that's where she's creating oh. the points. Um, well, they're playing the best right now, doing the circumstances that it's setting in the first set. This set is vital for Tina to win. Yeah. So on Moak. Oh, very anxious indeed. Fantastisk fint. Det, 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 det er spørre meg godt. Ja, du er heldig. Ja. Så kjører vi. Det er en gitt på i starten her. Ja. Ta en god tid med den døde her, så vi hele tiden er klar. Ja. For det er hun som vil finne sin rytme, og det er du som styrer her nå. Ja. Tine Bernstjerne. Ja. 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 Ja.
While Tim Brown will be Point mightily one. relieved to have seconds. survived those five main points relieved, but all credit to her because she absolutely lifted her game. Played quite brilliantly, but one wonders, can it? What on earth the psychological effect on this youngster? The 21-year-old Sung Jae Hyung, having had five game point opportunities, missed Seven one game. against the vastly experienced Tina Baum. How does she bounce back from that? Play. Well, it's going to be tough on her. Uh, she needs a good start again, because uh, otherwise she'll, she'll keep reminding herself about <laughs> that first set that got away. Uh, I think Tina's going to come out with a lot of confidence and play fast and aggressive. Put all the pressure back on some. And, and she needs to respond, otherwise uh, it's going to be very, very tough on the young Korean. Was, so what, what was the, one ball. the Danish coach, who is a Swede, what was, what was he advising in that time out there? Was, was he saying uh, continue with trying to get her deep into the back corners before you play the net shots, which is what you had identified, or what was the advice? Um, he, was, he was talking a lot about uh, variation. Uh, definitely continue using Two, the rear court, one. but also if she felt that there was a, a, a chance at a front to be played, she should continue with that. Uh, but still, it's the, it's the same thing. Open the Korean up first and then go for the attack, not trying to force it too early, except when the Korean is out of position. is really the speed team comes out of the, the rear court moving forward. She's so aggressive and her first step is so fast and always fast forward, so giving her a chance to actually cho choose which shots to, to do. Here's one of her maybe a little bit weaker points, it's directly off the serve. So when Tina's in full flow, moving around, she's very good. When she's standing still and have to accelerate up, less good. She has another comeback, like, well, I hope she has, but, well, it's early in the second set anyway. Directly off the serve, six, not Tina's three. greatest thing, so Sung is doing a, a, a quite good interception, but still Team needs to move faster directly after serving, so she's not that deep and can't control the drink. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. Seven, That's been pulled out, that's no way. And no overrule from the umpire, surely. Well, Lars can't believe it. There's booze from the crowd. Oh, dear, dear me. Oh, no wonder she can't believe it. That is a shocker. Yeah. The good character show there. The very next round plays a beautiful cross court. Four, guided shot. And again, in control of her emotion after she clearly got cheated a little bit on the previous point. Yeah. Well, in fact, 
good influence on her. Angered by what was clearly a wrong call. Using her anger and aggression, channeled in the right direction. rallies Tina wants where she's chasing a little bit too much where it's 50 50 and she can't really get the other hand either controlling or being more aggressive to make an easy mistake on the last one. it perfectly it is so difficult to retrieve it also means that it opens up on that forehand corner zone where she could put a lot of pressure on because the drift takes the shot back in This rally is exactly the corner where you can, can put almost unlimited pressure on by using the swim's backhand side first. And if she got, just gets the height and, and, and the length right, it'll be tough on some. så kommer den lige hårt ja, så over så ja, lige precis og det skal vi avtale innan kamp det skal være kort eller lang ja, det, det, det skal, har vi så ut så tar vi den litt der fra vi skal inn og spille med den hvis, hvis du kommer høyt til den det er fysikk som er i til den da holder vi helt kort og gjør den løp til den well, kan du Well, I, I like the fact that Pierre Henrik is just very cool and calm yeah. because, of course, emotions are running high. And he's just emphasizing the game plan, which is, yeah, move some around, wait for the right opportunity, as we saw in the last rally, and then, then put all your power and energy into that one. But he's very few clear things to do, and then not just about controlling your emotion. Great coaching. Nine, eleven. Mm, 
remember him coaching uh, when we were in the Far East, and Tina who was absolutely livid as they men went to the mid-game interval, and she was having a bit of a rant, and he said, right, are you finished now? Now let's talk some business. Well, sometimes that's the best one, to just yeah. let the player get the aggression out, and then they're ready to... Yeah, absolutely. Good round. Oh, goodness, what a backhand. So, too, is that. Yeah. It's come back in. In huge trouble having to play that backhand from deep in that backhand corner. Look, first of all, the cross court. She has to scrum to the full diagonal. Well, it's great to see Tina needs to survive this one. It was clear that, well, the Korean uh, game plan is right now is to put a lot of pressure, be a lot more aggressive. So Tina just scrapes everything back and controls the drift perfectly, which, well, experience. Good lift. That's long, say. So, server. 12. Wait for the right opportunity. Trying to force it too much. Well, she had an opportunity, but Sung defends really well, and then she gets carried away on the first lift, thinking she's still in a good position. And yeah, well, it look, it, it might look as an easy mistake, but you're trying to get behind it and really force it. But yeah, it's a mistake. Frustrated with how many of her good shots are coming back. And they're not just coming back, they're coming back with interest. And now she's trying to go for the lines, play the winners. Well, the speed of the rallies has gone up purely because none of them wants to give away the, the initiative. Now, Sung is okay defending, but she would rather attack. And, and I would say Tina's placement has maybe been slightly off in terms of where she's placed the first attack, and that's well done what Sung. Well, she's controlling the game a little bit more, even though she's a little bit in defense. I can't believe anybody's asleep while this match is going on. If she just keeps this into the sides, the drift will take care of the rest and keep using it, keep using it. And she takes it straight away. That is, that is, well played. Crucial few points right now. It's 13 all on the second game. If one player could just stamp their authority, three or four points.
Chris. Seven, seven. Easy. Easy 14, mistake. Uh, I would say I think the pressure of Ogo and the speed of the rally is just getting to it. So that's a standard set that normally would stay in. But if we're talking 10, 15 centimeters of drift. That's what happens. Yeah. Trying to come back in. Seconds over. 14 all. It's a change of shuttle. Well, within a few points, we're getting to that critical stage of every set where if you make the right tactical changes and are able to stay calm, you can make a huge difference and you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent. down her forehand side. Too eager from the front court. Great clear to put the pressure, but it's straight into that forehand. Use the plot or use another lift to that rear to open up even more. I know I know it's tough because you wanna Yeah. You wanna be in control, but you've got to keep using that rear court. in court like that and having to take the round the head shot the natural instinct is to drag the shuttle wide of the sideline for her to control it straight down and absolutely brilliant level once again We can just hope it's a little bit too early. one she tried to force it too much all she needed to do was play another shot before she could then have the runner but you can also see that tina doesn't wait for the shuttle to come to her on the front court she's moving very fast in to keep the pace of the rally up yeah. and there's an easy mistake 17 16 Indeed. Understandable with the tension. But if you want to be winning these major titles, you simply can't afford those. Great control. Great control. Now she really wants to kill it, but just gets a little too close and then she controls a perfect spin. But that lift was very, very impressive. Just because both players have actually hit the last two rallies out the rear court, and this time she plays it perfectly. So she's going to go for another high serve, yep. More height, so keep it in. It's wide. And turn around. 
two tantalising points away from a fourth Orleans final. 17. Sun is very reactive here. She's not really clearly thinking about the drift, so she's just hitting it, and it's perfect because Tina's controlling more or less all the rally. with the rally yeah so the way she's playing yeah so they, they think she's doing it the right rally and that's the most important last two rallies both players are playing actually some of the best badminton and that shows well strength and yeah courage you're all about character and love yeah big goal to there big goal to the liquid too it's been a very very intense match hit that left hip on the attack. to level the semi-final at one game apiece. Så 
Ja, så att Okej. Okay. Ner med skulderna. Tack väl. Så kör vi också. God tid med väl Det är du som styr ut med ditt kamp. Okej. Okay. Fast tre. Danish coach looked very calm and collected. He seemed to be saying, come on, relax, you're doing the right things. But give us the proper translation there, can it? Again, I, I think it's a great coaching. He's just relaxed, uh, giving him time to think. He's uh, he's talking about pure tactically. It's, it's about remembering to use the drop shot, not just the big smash and the power clears. As she did in the uh, first set, when she, she got back, she was using great drop shots to open up the court. And then he's just reminding her, take time between each rally, you're controlling it, and that's it. Well, we'll see whether she's got, as you described it, the batteries for three rounds. Yeah, and the last thing is, shoulders down, relax, still enjoy it. She need, I think she needs a few points here because right now her facial expression is a little bit, she's still dwelling a little bit what happened in that second set. And clearly not thinking, and, and something's just coming out again, even more aggressive feeling that she escaped that one. This is a critical situation and very much playing their part in trying to lift the spirits of Tina Bell. I, would just, I know it's tough, but I would just love to see one rally where Tina does something good and she gets the smile back. Yeah. Is maybe it would have gone out, but the, the, the drift is, is getting yeah. into it, and then this is a floaty, and, and she's thinking, I'm, I'm going to push it down the line, but the drift is going to take it out, and that's 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 a tough bit, but great comeback for Tina here. Actually, seen this match, uh, Tina hitting a quick clip on on the attack, which doesn't give Song any time to get back into position. Yes, instead of a big wind up, as you say, just clipping over the shuttle, bringing the racket head through very quickly. Oh, she made a back swing. Of the court. Well, 
great speed also. And Song just scrapes that back, but Chi is ready already, and that's another sharp shot from the front court. But again, it's the drop shot Pierre Henrik talked about in the break that she needs to keep using. I know that Song in the previous rallies was fast on it, but that was a cal uh, calculated risk she took. But this one, just perfect. has such a tight spin it's almost impossible to lift all the way down and see there she's early she's gambling and that one very very difficult and Tina is there if it's close to, to actually kill it yeah But I was wrong. She's moving fine. She doesn't even look tired at all. She's she's positive. The skill is still there. And yeah, previous rallies we saw the power. Oh, it's extraordinary because I think we're just two minutes shy of the hour mark. Still badminton of the very very highest quality. to say my initial reaction was that the line judge had made the right decision yeah the outside edge of the line somehow Eight. psychologically send the message from the brain to the legs to really push yourself forward get yourself in position take it as early as possible at the front of the court it, it, it it's always been a little bit of a tough corner for Tina is is that short forehand corner where she has to go out in full stretch she's she's slightly better balanced when she gets to the backhand side of, of the front court Emphasizing your point. She's just setting her perfect Show push down the line. Song doesn't really Nine, want to give it away seven. the initiative, so she plays the, sh the safe shot back. Or, well, not even in this case, she's just under so much pressure. This is the only reply she can do. Great control of Tina. A couple of easy points here would be great. There is one. Front court, rear court. Yeah. Oh, the luck of the net court. Sadly enough, this match has been in progress. And only two points separate them. And it's still either player's match for the taking. Oh, that's a great smash. Thunder that down a 
across court towards the area, and she has a three-point advantage. There's the three-time finalist of the change of ends in this third and deciding game. Yeah, I'm so tired. Yeah. I know I'm so tired. 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 I'm so She's saying she needs to go all in, in on the on the short uh, on the front court, even though she's tired. But she feels some is tired as well, and so she's actually feeling she needs to just to stay committed and go all in on that front court, which means don't be afraid of stepping out and taking it early. Play. Reverted back to the backhand serve. That's right. I find this very interesting that Tina actually feels that she's the stronger right now. And that's very, very positive. It will make her a little bit... Ah! I was going to say calm, but that was probably the wrong word there. So she's definitely not calm Nine, on that one. 12. a lot more aggressive. It was exactly the same in the, in the second set after the interval. She came out wanting to get the net, get the attack, and not let Tina dictate at all. shot. You can see Tina's got it. She knew she should have made that defensive shot. 37 miles an hour. No, overdone it. She was off balance. She knows it. She knew exactly when she hit it. That was the wrong choice and off balance. And going for the easy one. They got to work for it. Keep the discipline. Keep the belief. <laughs> Back level. One game all. Thirteen all. all. She's playing into the hands of the Koreans. Some makes an easy net. Come on, Tina, play the net back to me. And Tina does. She's waiting for the quick flick over her. In this rally, Tina should have done some variation, maybe a deceptive, or definitely pushed it to the rear court. Thank you. 
is concerned, but reverted back to using the drop shot. That's what the coach had been saying to him. Wonderful angle across court. But again, in this one, Tina had the initiative. She was controlling. And Sung was late on, on lifting from the front court. In the previous rally, she was early, so she could lift over Tina. Control here and initiative is key. Well, the umpire allowing both players the opportunity to turn down. That's understandable after an hour and five minutes. Shuffle down across court from Sung Ji Hyung. Look at this. Just bringing that racket head over the top of the shuttle. That's an unbelievable, difficult shot to make. And this time, this is the first time she's used that on a flat clear. Great shot. Variation. Lovely play again. Wonderful block shot. Good disguise. Played with precision. Great variation. Using the rear court on Sung's first cover attack. And then this is such a skillful shot to make this time. Controlled. All too clear. The opportunity was there. Wasn't it really under pressure? Oh, a little stamp of defeat and frustration. to making that spin work. But a real good rally, tough one on both players. Well, for now, ten minutes this match, and that absolutely level. any of the players using the rear court twice in a row even though that probably would win the point but they are so tense so desperate in getting that first lift so they can attack attention showing through once again Finish continue. Yeah. Oh, this time she makes the next 
shot work. Not one thought as much about the tumble of the shuttle, just making sure it was tight to the net and seven, seven. over and in. 18-17. Oh, some can hardly bear to watch. That's a good shot. Nice. Good movement from Sanji Young. Team from everything into that rally. It's just the clear get short and some punish it straight away. Didn't really have to move too much for that. But Tina played a great rally, just maybe, maybe a little bit too flat and too aggressive. But eighteen or yeah, Danish fans feeling every moment for their player. When she reached 19, I think she probably lost at 21. 19. and everything there. She needs to stay aggressive now. Close to the body, that backhand side. Good defense.
champion that Tina Bam is, was inspired today. What a match. After the disappointment of squandering a 19-17 lead in the second game, to have to then play a decider. And the way she played this deciding game was absolutely extraordinary. But let's spare a thought for the youngster, Sung Jae Hyun. It takes two players to produce a great match. And it was a great match. Tina Baum waves to the crowd. She will be playing on finals day at the All England. 24-22. 19-21, in the deciding game. What a fantastic match that was, and it means that Tina Baum, the number seven seed, is through to the final, where she will play the 18-year-old Rachanuk Intanon. So the experience against the youth once again tomorrow. Well, what a day it has been as far as semi-final day is concerned here at the Yonex All England. It all started with women's doubles and the current world champions are through to their third consecutive women's doubles final. Wang Xiao Li and Yu Young beating the Japanese pair of Maeda and Suetsuna. And then Lee Chong Wei, the world number one, through to his fifth consecutive all England final beating the qualifier Sanson Boonsack. Then, of course, Rachanak Intanon broke the hearts of Indian fans, putting out the number two seed. In the men's doubles, well, the Chinese pair had to come from behind in that deciding game, which they duly won 21 17 in that decider. And as we've just witnessed in the women's singles, what a performance by both players. But Tina Baum, the two time former champion from Denmark playing in her last ever tournament. Here she is through to her fourth all England final. What a day it has been. The fans here at the National Indoor Arena has been given a real treat today. We, of course, will have finals tomorrow, same time as today. That's 1,200 GMT from all of us here in Birmingham. Hope to see you tomorrow for the finals. Bye for now.